Well, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, your final bout of the evening for the RECC Super Welterweight Championship. Five rounds of boxing action with our referee in charge of the action, Carsten Ranchois. So introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he enters the cage tonight with a record. Two victories, two defeats, one draw. The challenger representing Team Agoji. Please welcome Matty Abbott. His opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he enters with a record. 12 victories, three defeats. Tonight, the champion representing Revolution. Make some noise for Mark the Machine Mines. Well, here we go for our final bout of this evening's action here at Revolution Elite Combat Championships. What a night it's been so far. I'm joined by Brett. Baker and I'm Dave Fensum. We're heading into our last title fight. It's a welterweight bout. Five two minute rounds of boxing. Matty Abbott from Team Egoji. And he takes on, as the challenger, he takes on the champion who is Mark the Machine Miles from Revolution. A really measured approach here from Miles coming out of this at start of this round. Just pouring on the pressure, but at a steady pace as well, something he can keep up, something consistent. Yeah, he's landing these shots though. I'd like to see Abbott coming back with some more. You see Mark Miles calling the machine. He looks like, reminds me of Dolph Lundgren in the Rocky films. Yeah. He's massive. Always comes into fights in good shape as well. <laughs> really in condition. A little nod of appreciation from Miles. And Abbott lands a shot on him. But Miles pressing forward, taking the center of the cage. Right, you've identified Miles is picking his shots away, but nothing is overstretching, nothing's going 100% power each time. It's just picking his shots, scoring away. Does well to be just out of range as well. That right hand sneaking through the guard there for Abbott. Yeah, it's that typical Southpaw versus Orthodox, isn't it? Here we go, round two. The longer the fight, the more it favors that sort of style of miles. Clever scoring. It's mm. like, a lot of professionals, when they talk about going into like later rounds of fights, talk about cooking their opponent in terms of rather than just pouring it all on in the first round, just building up and building up and adding the pressure and increasing the pressure, increasing the heat until it becomes too much. Whereas we've seen quite the opposite approach from, from Abbott here. We're just seeing a nice big right hand. I'd like to see him start using his jab to set up a little bit more and start being a bit more measured in his approach because he's got, he's got four more rounds. He's got yeah. this round and three more after. He's, he's not in a rush. This is it. It's not like we're in the last round and you've got to get a knockout to win. He's still got time to pick up some points, set his shots up cleverly.
just starting to see Miles drifting into the power side of Abbott though. Yeah, I was wondering why he's doing that as well. He's stepping to his right against the south port. Strange. Yeah, he walks straight onto the left hand. Yeah, you can almost see him checking himself. Like, every now and then he'll realise he's doing it and move the opposite direction, but... Look here, he's moving off to the right. Yeah, he's still moving into the power of Abbott. Not the best idea. <laughs> Miles enjoying himself in there. Two rows down. Maybe it was from a punch. Either way, medics are dealing with that. And we're good to go. Here we head into round three of a scheduled five rounder. Off we go. Again, Abbott bouncing off to his right every time. Both men have got a tendency to move towards that power side. I don't know if it's just habit or if it's something they've worked in the game plan, but... Well, you can see Miles' right foot's on the outside, generally, and he's moving round the right way. He's coming off to his right. Look. It's Abbott you wouldn't want to be going off to the right. And he does that. Look, he steps to the right. Throws his shots, moves, moves right again. Strange. Quite possibly a lack of southpaws in the camp. It's quite a common fault. Remember, I, I thought a southpaw did the exact same thing. Stepped in towards my right-hand side and uh, ate a big left hand on my nose. <laughs> Lovely. How was that? Just as, you'd, just as you'd expect. Just as you'd expect. But the point, the point I'm making is you, you have to learn from that, though. And if you're getting clipped constantly with that left hand, you've got to start moving the other way. You've got to make the adjustment mid-fight. I guess that's an experience thing, right? It's, it's the being able to adjust mid-fight, in amongst the noise, in amongst that craziness, while all this is happening, being able to assess and reassess. Exactly, and I think what I was going to make things like adjusting harder is Miles, because Miles just applies pressure constantly. We've said it before, we'll say it again. It's, it's just like, accumulating. It's, yeah, it's like that Joe Kalzaki style of boxing where nothing feels like it's going to knock you out, but it's like continuous yeah pressure yeah, yeah yeah like this look hooks are going in he works to the body then he works to the head but he does cover up nicely when he's doing it he doesn't give uh, make himself vulnerable that's what i like about it good work from miles Here we go. The penultimate round, round four. And so far it is the champion who is asserting his dominance on my unofficial card, which is absolutely worthless, but I like to give you my opinion. And the fundamental mistake there of Abbott, as he jumps to the right. Well, that's it. We're calling a fight as we see it. But what, what it is, it's, it's the fundamental mistakes of Abbott plus the volume and the technical boxing of Miles. Yeah, of course. Taking nothing away from Miles, he's doing everything right. Big right hand there from Abbott. If Abbott would just step to the left and throw that, it'd be far cleaner and easier to land. Nice left hook there as well from Abbott. And again... And then the right hand, it's almost when he lands the left hook, he puts himself into the correct position to throw the right hand. Every time he jumps to the right, look, he'll do something and then jump right, watch. Gets him hit, jumps to the right again. Miles' work rate is uh, relentless, isn't it? 
Yeah, I think this is where it's really starting to show because you can see the frustration on Abbott's face. He's coming back with these super hard shots, but the shots just aren't having the same sort of sting anymore as they did in maybe the first or second round. Don't get me wrong, they're still hard shots. Yeah, it was a nice right hand there landed by Abbott. But as you say, I just don't think there's the same sort of power. It's always the case towards the latter period of the fight. Fifth and final. Yes, I've seen many a lesser man melt under the fists of uh, Miles. So props to Abbott for this. Heading into the fifth and final round. Kind of feel like it's time to bite down on your gum shield and swing for the fences if you're Abbott. He's got nothing to lose now and everything to gain. But Miles just not giving him a chance. Shots going in right from the start. Head, head, body, body. Back upstairs again. Look at this. I'm really enjoying that rear hand shovel hook from Miles straight into the bread basket, into the midsection. It's evidently taking the wind out of Abbott. Yeah, it certainly is. Look at this, just relentless. Work into the body. So the referee might be looking to step in for standing eight. In a yeah, I was going to say, we are so close to that. The referee keeping a very close eye on the action, and he's the one that's right there. Abbott ah, still coming back, though. I think Miles could do with just not crowding his work as much, just stepping in half a foot out. Agreed. Just letting, giving, room, leaving room for that rear hand. That was better, stepping off to the side slightly. Readjusting. Left hand landing, but not quite got the sting. Yeah, Miles is smothering his own work a little bit, isn't he? Sitting right on his head. Seems to me like the fatigue might be kicking in a little bit. But he knows what he's got to do for victory. He's just got to keep pouring this pressure on. No quitting, Albert. He's still coming in hard with these big uppercuts and hooks. Over to the results on our final fight. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. After five rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards with a unanimous decision. And still, revolutionary combat champion, Mark the Machine!